fall day outside and we're gonna be doing a fall themed day in my life like it is just gonna be a lovely day and I just had to dedicate one whole vlog to today because I just feel like it's gonna be long um I hope you guys are okay with that if you guys watched my last vlog you would know I am now an equinox member <laughs> she's crazy Yesterday I went and I did 12 3 30. I'm just trying to improve my cardio um, And just do more of that because it makes me feel good, you know, like I love it and then I'm sorry. Today I'm gonna push myself to get on the bike because Equinox has soul cycle bikes kind of like Peloton But it's the soul cycle version. I've never done one before um, So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm nervous because I've never done one before and I don't want to look Silly at the gym, but you just have to kind of let go of that just being at a gym in general because There's just so many people in there that know what they're doing and I just don't care. No one's looking at you I'm gonna bring my spin shoes in case there's a thing. These are really like my OG like spin teaching shoes. Oh my gosh Because if they have a thing to put your shoes in I would much rather wear these because I hate putting my sneakers in the little like shoe strap it's chilly out so I feel like all right. I know I know that I need a jacket. So I'm gonna pop this guy on. We're gonna walk to the gym. I got up early. I don't really like working out super early. With Jane, I now work out once a week with my trainer and that's at 10.30 and that's kinda early for me. So um, I'm blessed to not have to work out super early but sometimes you just have to because Brooke and I are doing a fall mall day i'm so excited like a pure like where she's picking me up in her car I, she was like i'll pick you up at your apartment i was like no no, no i'll walk to yours and she's like no i'm gonna pick you up and i was like that is so cool um oh my god what is happening to my hair right now but yeah so she's picking me up and we are going to our favorite mall as some of you guys might know american dream in new jersey i freaking love that mall so it's not even a mall like, it's an experience, truly. They have an amusement park, they have a water park, they have literally the most beautiful designer stores, but then they also have the Aritzias of the world, Sephora, like, stuff like that. And we thought it'd be fun to do, like, an OG YouTube, like, go to Bath and Body Works, do that whole thing, make a day out of it, get the coffee, all the things, and then do, like, a haul in her car after. I think it's gonna be so much fun. So excited. And yeah, so that's the vibe for today, but we're starting the day off with a workout. So yeah, she's picking me up at 12, so I had to get my workout in a little early, but I really am just trying to push myself, and I know I'll feel good. I have to highlight this bag that I just got from Leatherology. I'm obsessed. This is giving preppy Danielle times when I'd get everything monogrammed. If it doesn't move, monogram it. <laughs> Um, but I love it. It's this beautiful bag. It kind of reminds me of the Gucci Soho disco bag I think it was called. Um, it has a top handle. This literally fits So much. It's not even full like I'm gonna bring my vlog camera in here today when we Go to the mall and then I got it says DC. I think you can do up to three letters on this size I don't even have anything in there like It's crazy, but I think my favorite part is the thick strap. I Think I like that the most a lot of course, today though, I need to bring my <laughs> spin shoes and my hydro flask. I don't really want to walk the streets of New York like this. I don't want to be without hands. I'm just too excited about this bag, so I'm just gonna also bring a tote bag with these shoes <laughs> and my water bottle because I just love this bag. I think their Instagram is literally at Leatherology, not sponsored, but they did gift it to me and I'm obsessed with it. I like how close it is to me too. It's not like your normal crossbody. It's not like the other crossbodies. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Here is the gym fit. This workout set is from Story. You guys have seen it on the vlogs before. Shacket is from American Eagle. And then these are the Nike Super Rep sneakers. And I really like them. But again, hoping I'll be able to change into my spin shoes. And then my hair is up in a claw clip. 
and yeah I'm not even I can't even think about doing my hair later my goodness all right let's go get our blood pumping let's get some workout in Whew, here we go Up sitting on the soul cycle bike and well not sitting I got up I did a class for myself for 30 minutes because I couldn't get my earbuds to pair because I didn't have like the thing with me I had it in the locker room and I was too lazy to go back down and get it so they have like a free ride option where you can just like put like cool tie-dye vibes on the screen and then it just tracks your miles and stuff I'm more beats driven I'm not really thinking about like I was putting up resistance but I'm not like looking at like the power and I don't even look at it. I honestly don't. Like, I just ride to the beat. I have fun. I get my heart rate up. We go. Um, so I did 30 minutes. I literally still have all my spin playlists, so I just did one of those. The sprints were definitely hard. Usually, like, I get up for a 30-second sprint, but today I did, like, 15 seconds off the bikes, 15 seconds on the seat, which was really fun. And then those eucalyptus towels just do me over. Um, but now I'm really hungry. I just had, like, a very small piece of toast before I left because I can't work out on an empty stomach. Um, so we're gonna do the good old um, scrambled eggs and avocado moment for breakfast. I'm so hungry and I'm honestly tired because I definitely pushed myself to go this morning. Like I probably should have slept a little bit longer, but I didn't. So it might be like a non-decaf coffee day, like real coffee. So we're gonna get cooking. I hope I never get tired of this breakfast because I thoroughly enjoy it. It's so filling and delicious with the avocado and egg. Normally I'd put hot sauce on the eggs too, but I ran out, so. Time to shower. I'm so excited. I finally have my new shower head in. It's from Amazon. It was $38. It's a rainfall shower. It's magical. I have it linked in my storefront. I'm not going to wash my hair. So, oh yeah, I also have this little lymphatic drainage paddle from Rise Up Beauty. Shout out. A little lymphatic in the shower. Been loving this La Satan shower oil. I've been loving this for years, but I just had to shout it out again. Um, this pharmacy makeup, like, melt away cleansing balm is seriously amazing as well. But I don't have makeup on, so I'm not going to use it right now. Um, yeah, alright, let's get the showering. <laughs> All right, we're in the closet room, glam room. Comment down below what I should call this room. The Hannah Montana closet, whatever you want me to say. Drinking caffeinated coffee right now because my head kind of hurts. I think it's because I was like tired and then worked out and then, I don't know, made my head hurt. But I just got off the phone with Kelly. She's launching something very exciting this week, kind of. Well, she's doing like the event tomorrow, but I think it launches in November. I just got off the phone with her. And now we're gonna do my makeup. Brooke is picking me up in her car <laughs> in about an hour. I'm so excited for our day. Like, and Brooke and I just like, we haven't spent a lot of like quality time together in a while. Like we record the podcast every week, but we are typically like on a, not a time crunch, but like when we record, it's like we have something after, so we need to like keep it between two hours, whatever. So we like try and talk and catch up as much as we can before and after we record. And then obviously we would catch up during the recording, but we haven't like had a day in a while. So I'm, I'm really excited. And I think, and I know she is too. So yeah, we're going to do the makeup. Guys, is it so bad that all I want to ever do now is just put my hair up? Like I just can't. I just can't deal. We had Claire P Purse on our podcast um, like a week ago, if you guys are watching this, or this past week, and she's just a wealth of knowledge, I just have to say, and she was talking to us, and I saw her TikTok about this, about, oh wait, I feel like, 
feel like I should put my outfit on first in case I think I'm gonna wear something white and I don't want to pull my makeup over. Hold on. Okay, we're back. So glad I put on my outfit because this would not have been fun to pull over makeup. Just, I'll show you guys my outfit in a little bit, but it's giving fall. Um, okay. What I was saying was Claire Purse was telling us about her Luxie Hair Halo extensions and it just seems a lot easier. They're not clip-in extensions. They don't stay in. It's like literally on this like invisible thread and you like section your hair, put it in, it adds like more volume. So maybe that will motivate me more to wear my hair down when I do. I don't know. I'm just in my wearing my hair up era, you know? Gotta wet the beauty blender. Hold please. Okay. Anyways, a cosmetic CC cream, beauty blender. Here we go. This is definitely a little too dark for me. Maybe today I need to buy a lighter shade for my current fall winter skin tone. Um, it's really sad. Last fall I was getting spray tans weekly, and I'm not opposed to that. But I just like don't have anything crazy that I need spray tans for. So like usually when I would do it, it's because I like had something. I'm getting a spray tan next week for Halloween though, which I'm really excited about. But anyways, a little update on moving and my apartment. Everything is pretty much set in stone now. Like we're feeling good. I'm feeling homey. Like I love saying hello to the doorman when I walk in. Um, if you guys didn't know. The main reason I moved is because I didn't have doormen at my last apartment, and not everyone does, but it was something that I really wanted for my privacy, my safe, not my privacy, my safety, excuse me, um, and many packages that I were getting were getting stolen, and that's like just a common thing here in New York City, um, but if I can do something to stop it, I'm gonna, and it was just becoming like a really big problem constantly filing police reports, stuff like that. And I wanted to try a new area. So this building has doormen and I have a favorite one. He's the sweetest, or I love them all really, but he's the one like, he'll like, I'll walk in and I'll be like, Danielle, how was your day? You have a couple packages, welcome home. Like I've always wanted that and it's really cool. So um, really enjoying that aspect. I feel like I just can walk literally Everywhere. I'm just more motivated to walk. Um, and I'm really close to some train stations, which is so nice. Like, before my last apartment, I had to walk 10 minutes to get to a train station. So that was why I was just, like, Ubering all the time. Because I was like, it's going to take me so long just to get the train. And I know that's, like, all relative and everything. But for me, it was just, I don't know. It was just time to switch it up a little bit. And I'm really liking the apartment. Um... I'm feeling like really nice at home, especially last night. I didn't vlog yesterday because I know it's gonna do like a whole big vlog today. Last night, I like did like my full first proper cooking situation. I cooked white chicken chili, the half-baked harvest recipe. You literally just look up half-baked harvest um, and the, you look up her creamy white chicken chili and that's what I did. And it was just so lovely. I played jazz music, I cooked and just there's something so therapeutic about cooking from home and not even just that but like chopping up vegetables the smell the fragrance of cooking onions oh my gosh onions and garlic with some olive oil on a pan just sends me truly it also reminds me of like being home so i think just finding little ways to do things that you used to do it just takes a second to get settled into a new place and know where everything is and unpack i still have one box i still need to unpack it's like my beauty products that's the one thing that's not done that i've talked about I have my ikea alex drawers and i'm just trying to figure out what to do with those guys i could put them in my bedroom but ideally someone said i could put rollers on like wheels on the bottom and then like kind of move it around as needed like if i'm doing my makeup someone also said to take off my door so i have more room because there's so much room right here but like i can't put anything there because i open the door I'm really excited, so I have like a list of things I want to buy today, um, and I thought it'd be fun. I'll like do that in the car with Brooke. Sneak peek is a Bath and Body Works candle. Like they just slap. They just slap. They're just the best, and you just can't. They're not like the best, but for fall and winter, those scents are just unmatched, and it's very nostalgic. Yesterday, I sat down and watched old Juicy Star 07 videos, and I was thriving. Like her old updated room tour, the best. 
and I was watching Michelle Fawn's old Halloween makeup tutorials. I used to love those. Just like so many things. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to finish doing my makeup. And I will show you guys my outfit after. I'm going to do my hair. This isn't my hair right now. Um, I think I'm going to do this full slick back. Because I just can't be bothered, clearly. <laughs> but we shall see. Okay. <laughs> this always cracks me up. So... I had time and I decided, I was like, if my head is hurting, why would I slick back my hair? That's a recipe for disaster. And my hair, I literally washed it yesterday. It just wanted to be curled. So I used my Dyson Airwrap, so easy. And then the front pieces, I just like kept on the barrel and then slid it out and then slipped in clips just to keep them nice and voluptuous. Um, but trying to figure out my outfit. So this is what we have going on right now. It's actually kind of chilly today, but we're also gonna be like inside. So I'm just wearing this white long sleeve from Nordstrom BP. I don't know if they still have it, but just get yourself a white long sleeve. It's so good for layering. I've already worn it before this season. This, a lot of this outfit's from Fashion Pass, actually. This sweater vest is from Fashion Pass. Um, and then also this skirt is from Fashion Pass. I love it. Really might have to purchase this because you can like purchase things from Fashion Pass too if you want. Love. I just don't know. And then with the bag, it's gonna look so cute. I'm into the neutral outfits. Um, and then I'm just trying to decide shoes slash should I just bring a jacket just to have, but like also why would I do that? The coldest I might be is walking from the car to the mall. Oh my god, I'm so excited to go to the mall. Oh my god, little things. I really want to do high boots. Like I really want to do high boots, but also I want to be comfortable. I mean, these are comfortable, but like I'm going to the mall. I'm not like going to fashion week, you know, like, but these would just look so cute. I need to get like a flat version of these. I'm going to ask Brooke what shoes she's wearing. Cause if she's doing sneakers, I can match that energy for sure. But also like, where are the boots? Or I have these, these are flat. Ooh, oh no, things are falling. These would tie in. This might be a vibe. This would tie in the white long sleeve. I'm gonna ask Brooke. I just love being a girl and just asking like, hey, like what are we wearing today? You know, like what are the vibes today? It's my favorite. And then sunglasses. I'll probably end up doing these. I love these. These are Lyspec from Revolve. For jewelry, I already have my necklaces on that I wear every day, but I need earrings. Which gold hoops am I gonna wear today is honestly the question. Probably, probably these thick ones. Cause I wear these every day and then i'll put these on that's nice right okay so brooke is wearing a sweater jeans and birkenstocks but i'm kind of committed to this outfit i guess i could switch to jeans but i just love this skirt so much um so <laughs> you know when you like ask someone something for their opinion but then whatever they say you just end up doing like that's how you kind of realize what you want because when she said that i was like well, I still really want to wear the boots, you know? So I'm, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to wear the white cowboy boots though, so those are flatter so I can keep up pace with her because the other ones I'll just like walk a little slower. <laughs> I'm overthinking this so much, but I'm just so excited for today and I'm so happy I'm taking you guys along and I just feel 10 times better now that my makeup's done. <laughs> okay, I took my hair out of the clips. I'm really happy. It's good. We're good. I was also just playing around with <laughs> the boots this outfit option, but I'm just not feeling it. The jeans with the, oh, this is definitely a vibe. I have these from last year, but I don't know. The other outfit was just way, way cuter. Wait, let me see what it looks like with my bag though. The bag adds something to the fit, but I just, it's just not flattering. I'm just not, we're going with the skirt. I was about to put on my perfume and I thought I'd highlight it since this is a fall themed video. I love this perfume. I actually use it not only in the fall because it just smells so good. This is Replica Autumn Vibes. I'll link it below. It's also a really good gift for somebody. These candle, these um, they actually have candles too, but these scents because they have like Beach Walk, Autumn Vibes, By the Fireplace. They have so many different replications. I love this one though. It's described as a woody trail and red leaves, and I love it. So we're gonna spray this on now. Okay, you guys, we've got the full fit. I, let me give the whole rundown here. Bam. Oh, <laughs> what do we think? 
I feel good. I If I was like going to be outside, I definitely need a jacket, but I'm kind of like not going to be outside. So yeah, I guess you guys know where everything's from already. I got these boots. They're either Jeffrey Campbell. I think they're Jeffrey Campbell from Free People. So Brooke just texted me. She's walking to her car now and then she's going to come pick me up. This is so nuts. Brooke is currently <laughs> driving in the city. We're just passing the Chelsea High yes, Line. Yes, we are. We're on a full tour. Um, <laughs> so welcome, beautiful welcome. in Brooke's car. Thank you. It's a little dirty, but uh, oh, it doesn't seem best. like it. The thing is, there's not really car washes like in this. Oh, area. true. But there are in Brooklyn, but right. I just wait till I go home because I'm just like, oh, like I'll just wait. Like we have, you know, the proper vacuum and everything, so I just usually wait. But then. I wait a little bit too long. And my parents are like, you should take it. You know, like it's like the whole thing it rains great. and I park my car outside. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes. Oh, there's the edge. It's a whole, uh, you guys didn't know this is a new tourist attraction. A lot of people don't know about it. Oh, you really? Can, yeah. Whenever I mention it to people, they're like, huh? That thing, Brooke and I have been, and we went at night. It was insane. You like, are like over the city. It's kind of scary. If you're scared of heights, don't go. <laughs> Yeah, you can also scale the side of it if you want to be really crazy. Oh my god, yes, there's a scaling yeah, option. That, I think that that like staircase up there is it. Oh, that I is it. No. That's just like if you're like, fuck it. I, yeah, sorry, let's just go. Whoa, like, whoa. I don't know if you do that on the DC I do. Channel. Every now and then, yeah. and I kind of go, oopsie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are headed to American Dream right now. I am so excited. Brooke, do you have Same. anything specifically that you're like wanting to buy today or just like oh, things, stores you want to go to? Okay, so this is my thing. Like, I love a good, like, I I'm in a beauty mood recently, but yes. the Sephora sales in like two weeks. Oh. And I'm just like, and normally I'm impulsive and I'm like, let's just do it today. But I feel like I want to like ball when I do the Sephora sale properly. Thank you for that PSA. I, I know. I didn't know. I was is. fully about to ball today because I need like yes. lighter foundations. No, but that man. is, we can look in person. We can like, look. And yeah, True. maybe get one thing or whatever, but then save the big buy for, you know, when you get the 20% rouge. You whatever. are so Right. Yes. yes um, love being a Irish I, member. I'm excited for Abercrombie. Okay. So on my list, it's like just random stuff. Um, I'd like to find a cocktail dress because yes. we have some events tomorrow. I, if this this isn't gonna happen, but if they have the platform Uggs, oh, that would be. There might be an Ugg store. That, I sort of think yeah. American Dream just has everything. Yeah. No. A lot of stores these days have an Ugg store. I yeah. know. There might be one. So we'll see. Um, Bath and Body Works candles. Obvi, but we'll have to do that towards the end so we're not lugging around. Hopefully they have like a, they probably don't even do four for 20 anymore. I feel like we talked about this in the past. Yeah, they, I feel like those days are long yeah. gone. It's just like you can't get anything for a dollar anymore, you know? Things, nope. Yeah. Do you wear Abercrombie jeans? Do you like Abercrombie? I do. Um, Where are these from? Zara. Zara. Okay. Yeah, those I don't. don't... me well ever, unfortunately. They, it's like it depends on the style for me. Abercrombie too, like I like them, but I... I'm still undecided, okay. you know? Like, I feel like they're really comfy and, like, whatever, but I don't think they're the most flattering things I've ever put okay, on my body. Okay, then say less. Like, you know what I, I'm saying? Because I, I want to find a pair of good-fitting jeans, like, if we see some. Gotcha. And I've then, been seeing people yeah. are now doing this thing where they get them tailored. Like, if it doesn't fit or hemmed or whatever. Yeah, like, you know, it's so hard to buy the perfect pair, like, off the rack, but you can, like, customize it a little You're bit. You're right, and I did that at home. I just, like, get lazy in the city. Sometimes you have to, like, yeah. take it, whatever. And but and some of these places, uh, apparently they're pretty quick. Anyway, so we're on the way, very excited, and yeah, hopefully find a pair of good fitting jeans, and we'll see any just like fall staples I feel like would be fun. There's a huge Aritzia there. Um, oh my God, the designer area, which I don't, I'm not yes, I'm, going designer today. I don't know if I'm you not, are. I'm not, I just made a very big purchase, and I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm what? Telling, the, my purse. I was oh, like, duh. Yeah, oh my God, God guys, these are beautiful. Ago, yes, and your Prada you. shoes that are yeah, stunning. Yeah, I've just been, I need to relax. I need to Is relax this a light? too. Um, yellow, that's so crazy. It's no, weird. maybe it's just like yield, but I don't know who you're yielding to. Anyways, see you guys there. The American dream, guys. We've made it. That was actually such a quick drive. It is. If there's no traffic, it's a really convenient. It's just oh my God, uh, I'm so excited. All right, gotta get. <laughs> Welcome home. First step is get the pumpkin drink, of course. I got an iced decaf latte because I've already had caffeine today with pumpkin cold foam. Oh, I already did too. And I was just telling Danielle how I had a Celsius too late in the day and I didn't sleep and I'm repeating the cycle. And I... Gretchen Wiener outfit repeater. Yeah, this is really good. What'd you get? 
uh, pumpkin cream cold brew, but it's like, so it has the foam mm. that yours has. It's just cold brew instead of like a latte. It's, it's not good. too intense pumpkin. I like that. No, I like good. that a lot. Yeah. We're at Uniqlo because Brooke was saying they have like this yes. heat tech material, Everyone and we need was some layering because I complain about being cold. And they were like, oh, people told you to heat. go. Yeah, and I know Lexi's talked about. I've heard people talk about it, so I was mm, like, okay, this, this is, is the good. last winter oh, that I suffer. Like, Brooke is no longer <laughs> no cold. Longer. So yeah. we're looking at these right now. I picked up a heat tech um, turtleneck. Well, I gotta save something for the haul. Oh yeah. But yeah, we're just looking at the long sleeves. These feel so nice. We're like touching literally everything right now. I mean, now. that's the in-store shopping I like experience. This. Is it slim fitting? Um. What is it? Pull it. Hold it up. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. I guess it's not slim fitting, but it's like cute and good for yeah, layering. Yeah. Like we are in the designer wing. We are entering the designer wing. It's the such a vibe. Floor the floor literally changes. It's so luxe over here, you guys. It's so sick. I cannot, like, what? Wow. This area is so nice. So, it's rich. It's giving rich. Oh my god. This is amazing. A girl in a pink world. Wow. Okay, yeah. Wow. So, we're at the mall food court now. Brooke is over there getting ramen, which sounds so yummy. I had to get this because uh, I guess it's a chain. So, I've seen it at multiple malls. This is called Cajun Grill in like a lot of mall food courts. I always get the bourbon chicken with rice and broccoli. Seriously brings me back to like middle school, high school. I get this a lot in my Tampa vlogs too when I go to the mall, so I had to. Feels so nostalgic. Get your ramen? Do you get chicken ramen? What kind of ramen? Chicken ramen. It's like Yum. mushrooms and stuff. You gotta let me order 53. All right, guys. There's a spirit Halloween. Brooke needs a costume. I need. Oh my god. Ted Lasso. I'm excited to see like what costumes are a thing now. Yes. You know. Every year it's something. Well, there's like the big. Like the big. The big three. Big, the big three. Let's the big go. Three. Those are very silly. Extraterrestrial guys. hottie. There's a whole space cowgirl section. Just space in general. It's kind of nice. It's so easy buying a costume that's just like I know. the outfit and the accessories. Why don't we do this anymore? Well, maybe we will today. Maybe you will today. Yeah, I need something. Hmm. You were a little red last year, right? That was cute. Yeah. yeah. That was an easy one. Like yeah. Cool. Hustler Honey. The names just get me. Oh my god, Brooke, you guys could be avocado toast. That is so funny. Oh, peanut butter and jelly, but you gotta be jelly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just, I just told Danny I'm looking for subtle like accessories only costumes. Oh, and I'm like yeah. avocado toast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Inflatable balloon animal. That's I really. So, look how all out that is. Oh my god. Oh, I love these. These me always too. get me. I, really like those. I cannot believe they have a marshmallow costume. I was like Brooke, you simply section. must. But then you have to wear it all night. I know. But, but it's that's a really so great, cool. Great costume though. Great it's a costume. Really good idea. Highly suggest if you're on the market for something easy. You don't have to do your makeup. <laughs> And you could just wear like, what does he wear, like jeans? Like not They like show them and they will, you can buy this and you get this oh, jacket. Wow. It's a cool varsity jacket too. I don't know. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. I can smell it already. Oh my gosh, the OG leaves. I actually like autumn a little bit better, but leaves is good. These are $12 right now. Oh, it just smells like fall, like a warm hug. So good. I also like hometown sugar cookie. All right, the moment you have all been waiting for. I can unbuckle. I'm like, we're, we're parked. Safety first. <laughs> um, okay, we have so much to do. We're gonna do an OG fall mall haul like we used to back in the days, like Black Friday haul. All right, so we went to Sephora, even though the Sephora sale is <laughs> happening soon. It's like next week. I broke the news to Danielle. I was like, I there's Sephora sales next week. But, you know, we're... It's okay. <laughs> Trying to justify. Actually, <laughs> actually, there was you got uh, like triple points today. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. That it was like I saw it when it, when it checked me out. That was like the deal because there's usually deals. Triple in points. Sephora. That's huge. Yeah. For the program, then I know. And points are good. I we went in because we both had stuff that like like non-negotiables. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I needed a lighter foundation. I'm trying a new one that Brooke recommended me. Stuff like that. And then wow. things just then we just saw things with cute packaging. And we were like, I really? got influenced. The by thing with beauty is like you're you're. At least we, we're gonna like use the things we bought. Of course, They're very essential of course. things. Yes, completely. Not like some crazy eyeshadow. We didn't do that today. No, not today. Not today. Maybe um, for the sale. <laughs> yeah, maybe for the sale. I feel like the sale is when yes. you can like really. I did um, use. No one tells you this, and I figured this out recently. Maybe you. Someone told me you can use a hundred of your points mm. and get ten dollars off. It's nothing crazy, but so Wait, I did is that. Wait, it, is it only a hundred? Yeah, hundred points. Or is it five hundred points? 
I think it's 100 points. Oh my god, you keep... I'm sorry. You I keep smiling that way. I'm like, there's someone here. No, keep smiling that way. It's cute. I'm just in a good mood. Okay, first off, Danielle influenced me on this because she used it at, after we ate, um, and that is the Touchland hand sanitizer. I also just love this packaging. It's just so cute. It's so, like, yeah. sleek. They have, like, big ones at stores, yes. too. You know why I needed it? Because, like, literally my car one is, like, nothing wrong with this, but it's, like, I just, I wanted to upgrade. I feel like this is, like, the That's upgraded That's a huge version. upgrade. It's, like, a micro mist. This rainwater scent smells so good. It's very clean. You're gonna love it. I'm excited. I've seen a lot of people post about this. First up, I got the Peace Out Puffy Eyes. This is a repurchase for me. See, it's like a repurchase. Oh, you've um, tried it before. Yes, these are from the brand uh, Peace Out Skincare. <laughs> They're just eye patches. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I got another. I just like this pack. I can't explain why I like this packaging. It's so, it's so satisfying. Right? This I have tried before. It's the Kosas Sport Hyaluronic Lip Balm. I like to keep something in the car and. I feel like this is just a That's good a good color. emotional support lip balm. You can just yeah. like... Yeah. Um, this is another repurchase. The Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I love spraying this stuff on before and after I do my makeup. And just like... It, it just smells so good. Like love. I think we need to do it right now. Oh. Oh. You want? Sure. Ooh, it does feel really, really good. Wow. Mm, it smells so It smells good really good. Wow. <sighs> We're at a spa. We're transported. We're not in a park mall parking garage no. anymore. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what you got for me? What you got? Um, I got this is a repurchase Kosas concealer. Um, I actually went into the day like knowing I needed this. I have it in two shades. I have it, like my actual shade and then a lighter shade for under my eyes. So I got. I I wish I could have gone a little bit lighter, but this is all that they had in stock. And it's I was always like, out. Oh. All the colors. Yes. Next up, well you can pull yours out too. Oh, we're in the these. Oh, so we bought the full collection. Wait, you, you have another item in there. Oh no! Spoil. Oh no! Spoil alert! <laughs> so we bought the full Summer Fridays collection between the two of us. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so you, you'll get all the color swatches on our channels. Not actually, but... You but know. yours are both repurchases? Or? Yeah, I, okay. I have. So yeah, I'm not trying anything new. I love... This is the one I have on today, the Lip Butter Balm. They're both the Lip Butter Balms from Summer Fridays. Mine are both of them too. I've tried this color before. Looks so good. And I then this that. color is... It's just a great lip balm. I'm and excited to see what this one looks like on. Yeah. They, um, it doesn't look as bright. Like, it's very, very sheer. Sh very sheer tint. Not but I just, opaque. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> opaque. <laughs> so confusing. But I thought that for fall, this one, the darker one, might be kind of fun. Then I got the Lancome CILS Booster XL. Um, it's the, just like a lash primer because um, my mascara literally never stays on, so I use the L'Oreal double-sided one, but sometimes I want to use a different mascara. I don't know. I just remember using this. My mom uses this. She's used it since my whole life, and it's just like you prime your lashes, and then you put the mascara over it, um, and I've been wanting to buy a new one, so. Wow, I've never used a lash primer. You don't really need to. Mine just always. Mine's like still falling today. I just can't keep mascara no, on my eyes. Uh, Clara out. has amazing lashes, and she uses a lash primer. I think it's it's actually the L'Oreal one. Oh. But she bought the like not double sided one. I actually forgot about that, but I just saw this one today and I was like, cool. Um, then this is, I can't even count how many times I've repurchased this. It's insane. The Sunday Riley CEO Glow Serum. This stuff smells so good. It just makes your skin look so glowy. I also bought this. This was just so unnecessary. Wow, you got a lot more. Where did these come from? I don't know. It's just once I just pick one thing yeah. up, it's game over. This is the Caudalie. Um, grape water. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like in French. I'm like, okay. Okay. Um, it's the, this is, I sprayed it on in the store and I really liked how it made my skin look. This doesn't have any sort of scent, but it's meant to like truly refresh. Like the Caudalie I used before and after, and maybe I'll spray it on my face during the day, but this like makes your skin look kind of dewy again, like in the middle of the day is what oh. I'm guessing. And like, that's what it just did for me. So oh. I love that. And then oh. almost done. Oh, <laughs> almost done. I, Brooke, this was a Brooke wreck. This is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. Cause I needed like a lighter, oh, oh you cannot. Blown out. Gonna have to do, oh, it's focusing on Brooke's face. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello camera. Hello camera. So I got light, cool 180. And then the last thing I got, I was like wanting a new like body lotion. Cause the, I used the Necessaire body serum and I like it, but I was like, let me try something I else. I use that too. It's so great. And it, sometimes lotion, you have to sit there and be like, like it's and a like whole rub journey. It in. Yeah. It's like, 
10 more minutes. <laughs> it's like, you want to put on lotion today? That's going to take an extra 30 No, minutes. yeah, that'll Literally. be 10 minutes. Exactly. So I do like that one, but I wanted to try something else. And this one had a nice scent to it. This is the Summer Fridays, because we were in the Summer Friday section having a time. Oh. This is the Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion. And um, it smelled really good, and it uh, blended really easily. So Love that. Woo! That's my Sephora haul. We literally like weren't even going to go in, and I said, should we? Like, only if you want to. And then, there you I go. Mean, it seems like you got some good stuff there. It's so. mainly stuff. Oh my god, it's just like in Return between my legs. Like, yeah, it was a great Sephora. I have to say, it was. The stores that we went to, such a pleasant shopping experience. Should yeah. we do Zara? Yeah, let's do Zara. Um, you start. Did with you get one thing? Okay, yeah. So we'll we'll sandwich you in there. Mm -hmm. I kept kept looking at this sweater at the Zara in Soho and stuff, and the line was too long. And I was like, Brooke and I are doing them all day, and thankfully they had it here. Wow. This is just a beautiful green sweater literally nothing cute crazy it's like a crew neck i just thought this would look really nice with some blue jeans honestly and some uggs I feel wow like that could be, i know i feel like you and like a bun and sunglasses you know my vibe but i just love this color i think this will really pop 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 and yeah and it's good for christmas too the way you just said blue jeans made me think of blue the, the jeans, animal baby. no oh. the, the horse and <gasps> me and blue jeans <laughs> in a montana movie so what'd like you get? Ball. Okay, well, I, I know what you got. Why did I say thing. I hope it fits because I didn't try it's it on. So I just beautiful. Didn't really try on. Um, this is a gorgeous dress. It's giving um, first lady. Yes. That's what I thought it was giving. It's so you with the tweed. It's, um, it's not buttoned right now, but it's just a button down little dress. But I actually shift do dress. like. I think that I'm gonna like this cut because it's not too high. Like it still can it's still perfect. Flattering. You can yeah, feel shift. a little something. Um, I like the pockets here too. Yes, I just pictured this a lot of different ways, but honestly, like this with like a, a, a heel, I feel like it could just be elegant. So beautiful. And during the day, you could wear like a long sleeve under it or a turtleneck. Oh, I don't know. If so you wanted right. to make it casual, you're so right. I don't know. No, that is very true. Okay. I, this is giving holiday season for some reason. Yes, you could definitely like use this then too for a holiday soiree. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think that's yes. a great purchase. Thank you. All right, next up. Um, and then the only other thing I got at Zara was this. I also saw this in the store in the city, but I, I think we, in the in the episode we talked about fall trends. I said I really like these mm. horizontal stripes right now. I love it. Um, I think this is black. I hope this is black. I'm. Oh, it looks black in the screen. Not it navy. definitely is. Okay. It definitely is. And it's a turtleneck, but it's kind of a more slouchy one. It's just like a nice like oxy sleeves, fit. Too. Yeah. Oh, oh I, didn't, I actually didn't notice that. Hello. They have a slit. Oh, that's cute. I even like that better. Some blue jeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, kind of just regressing to the preppy vibe, you know? It's a regressing day. I love it. A striped sweater is just a bit stiff. Everybody needs one. Yeah, of course I can't fold it like they did at the store. No, to the me either. This bag. is like really just shoved. Oh. Um, Uniqlo? Sure. So we just got some basics there. Like these are like our more practical purchases. We got of the, the same day. thing. Oh yes, we both got these just like basic white long sleeve turtleneck. It's like a very soft material. This was heat tech, right? Yeah, it was at the front of the store, so we were like, oh, this like yeah, yeah, it's heat, heat tech fleece turtleneck long sleeve. Yeah, it's definitely Off -white. fleece material. Um, but I feel like this could be worn on its own, and it looks very luxurious too. It's like a totally. soft, I don't know if you kind of coastal grand in the winter. Yes, for mm -hmm. sure. Would look good with a vest as well. Many different ways. I have no idea on the sizing either. Like I could I totally be off on this. I, I got a medium and a large and like Yeah, yeah. I got smalls and medium. I have so no we'll idea. See. Um and then I got this <laughs> these are the intense so they have heat tech warm, warmer, warmest kind of. Well, I don't know if they had warmer, but they had warmest and I was like, Well, if I'm like getting I'm still focusing on Brooke's face, I'm like <laughs> Hello. Um, it's just a white long sleeve and they had them so you can feel them. These, this is like purely for layering, like for warmth. Um, I'm going to Maine for Thanksgiving with Ryan's family, and I feel like I'm gonna need this. Well, Brooke was like, you should get it for Maine. I was like, yes, I should. And for, the, well, then our New Year's trip and stuff. There's just our a New lot trip, of yeah. places for. And it gets cold in New York in like January, February. Like oh this my gosh, will so be cold. helpful. I definitely wish I had these last year. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't get the ultra warm, which I don't know if I'm gonna regret that, but it's like, ooh, mine's like baby. Well, it's different. <laughs> Yours is like ultra warm and mine is like okay. Which doesn't make sense because normally you would probably be the one to get this. Yeah, I, you know I would. I had that in my hand and then I don't know, last minute I kind of did a switcheroo on you. And This is the first one so if I made a mistake, let uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. you'll you know. still wear this because it's a good, this one's lighter and nicer. Yes, so the, it's just a black long sleeve crew neck tee and it's extra warm. They had warm, extra warm, and then like ultra warm. warmest. Yeah, I like the material of this warm. shirt. It's just like a cotton long sleeve black. 
I feel like I actually wear like black long sleeves and like jeans or black long sleeves and leggings. Yes, and leather, like like so that cute. combo a lot. It's just a good and you feel slim. Oh, oh, so slim. Like I I'm sorry, I'm feel so tiny. Yes. Excuse me, sir. You can't even see my arm. Yeah. <laughs> it's very they're very slimming for sure. So we'll have to keep you updated on how warm we are. Yeah. In these. I got the warmest black long sleeve. So love that. And love. So okay, we'll cool. update you guys. Yeah, I mean we'll see how warm it gets i guess yeah. and i have no idea what sizing to get on the tighter one i got a large but then on the looser one i got a medium i don't like i don't know yeah i don't i know i got a medium on this i don't really know Wait. updates to come yeah that's all i ever say updates to come Let's start moving things to the back with our coats i think that's all i got okay and then lastly i'm gonna show you guys at home but i got a ton of bath and body works candles and i am so excited but i don't want to unwrap them all right now so, see you guys in a bit. We're gonna drive now. Okay, Brooke just dropped me off. That was so easy. My lanterns, I have them set, or my like candle, whatever, I have them set to go off around like 5.30. So they must have just turned on before I walked in. I wanted to show you guys what I got from Bath & Body Works. I just didn't feel like pulling all of that out and Brooke didn't get anything about Bath & Body Works. I got so many candles. I need to take my shoes off for this, you guys. <sighs> that was not the proper way to take off boots, but I'm lazy right now. I feel like I need to turn on my light. Yep. Okay, so much better. All right. So, they were doing a deal for these small one wick candles, two for 20, which is not the best kind of deal, but these scents were amazing. I'm gonna walk you guys through them. This one is called Sun Drenched Linen. And you guys know I've been really into laundry recently. It's very therapeutic. And this is fresh linen, crisp apple, and soft musk. I am so psycho, and I want to light this when I'm doing laundry just to amplify the smell of laundry. I know that's literally crazy. I know. Oh, it just smells like laundry detergent and fresh sheets. Like, I feel like this is a good candle to burn on, like, a Sunday reset day. Why is this just not focusing? Mmm, so good. And then since it was two for 22, I was like, I gotta get another. And this smells amazing. This is white tea and sage. And this is sparkling bergamot, white tea and fresh sage. I'm like smelling it even though you guys can't. This smells, oh my gosh, this scent is coming to me. <laughs> it smells like a really nice hotel. Like room, like, um, like they just cleaned your room. Oh my god, that smells so good. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It smells like something good. Something nostalgic for me. I don't know what it is. Um, I know those are like random specific scents. Very clean scents. Then I got four of the three wick candles. And they didn't have any like three for 20 and two for whatever. But they did have the ones in the front were all $12 each. Um, so I went for those instead of like the $30 each ones. So I got Pumpkin Bonfire, which is one I'd never smelled before. And this one is described as white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds, glowing embers. It really smells like you're in someone's backyard and it's like a fall night and you, it's not like super bonfire scent, but it's got that. It just smells like outside in a good way. My camera's about to die. What? I just charged it. Then I got two of the autumn candles, bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. This is my favorite one. I buy it every year for as long as I can know. So I bought two of those. And then lastly, I got leaves, which is like a really famous one from them. Crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. It smells like spices, fall, a little pumpkin, some leaves. My favorite one is autumn though, I will say. So yeah, those are all the candles I got. I'm so excited. We're going to burn some now. Um, but yeah, I need to charge my battery. I don't know why. It's about to die. I just lit my autumn candle from Bath & Body Works and it already smells so good in here. Okay, new purchase from Amazon. I'll have them linked on my Amazon storefront. These are water resistant or I looked up waterproof, um, like flameless, like battery powered candles and it comes with this. Oh, on. That is such a vibe. And I love, I've never had the ones that move. So it gives some, wow, that is so zen. I really, really like this. And then with like a lot of you guys suggested I get a hanging plant. I feel like it needs to be fake because I don't really know any plants that thrive off of like real humidity that would look good in here. I like the idea of eucalyptus, but I want like a hanging plant. I think that would look really pretty. I also like how it's simple here too. 
But, oh my gosh, what does it look like with the lights off? Oh, that is so lovely. It came in a pack of three and it comes with this remote. And you can do like timer too, so I can save for like two hours, whatever. I'm into it. Okay, another Amazon purchase that just came today. This is gonna be a doozy. So I bought this super tiny curling wand specifically for one of my Halloween costumes. Um, it's a gal with curly hair. And I just, I wanna like test this out to obviously make sure cause I don't wanna like be doing this on like the day of the Halloween party and then it is a mess. I, I feel like this is gonna be a mess. Like I probably need to take really small pieces of hair. It's basically to give you, I mean like literally look how tiny it is. I will also link this down below. This could be fun just to get like the cute curly look if you don't have super curly hair. I have no idea how long I need to hold this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect for my costume. Oh my gosh. I don't really feel like doing my whole head of hair, but I'm also like, I feel like I should see how long this takes. Oh my god, how fun! Uh, how do I give a hint without saying what it is? You guys probably can guess. It's a costume that makes sense that I would want to be if that, if that is any sort of hint. This is way too fun. Should I just like try and do my whole head of hair? I have like way more important things to do right now. This is kind of fun. Oh god, I keep pressing buttons though. I don't usually wear- I'm literally wearing the glove on the wrong hand. Like, crushing it, Danielle. Anyways, I'll update you guys in a bit. Okay, so I obviously was kind of lazy with it. I don't know, should I take the comb to it or not? Ah! It's so fun and voluminous for sure. I feel like I just didn't like do it right. But also they're curls. They're just fun and unique in their own way. What do we think? Should I? Oh my god. I got a little lazy towards the back. Oh my god, it makes my hair look so short. How funny. Maybe I'll just curl it super tight, but like not, not with this. The idea was there. Maybe if I do some practice, I definitely didn't take my time here. I feel like my hair is going to get super knotted, but this was fun for sure. All right, Ryan is heading over now. He was like, what you doing for dinner? He damn well knows I have leftover chili and he didn't have any yesterday, so gonna heat that up in a second but I think I'm gonna also make some green beans because I have these and I want to make them before they go bad and I just want some greens in my life I didn't really have any greens today I don't have the broccoli but you know so the way I like to make green beans is I literally just take my always pan olive oil salt and pepper boom done oh I do have garlic if I want to get crazy garlic makes Green beans taste incredible. Maybe, maybe we'll get a little fun with it. I've got jazz music going. I'm feeling the vibes. Let's do it. One thing about me, I just hate cutting garlic. It's just, you know, it's just a little, I do have a garlic mincer, but it kind of doesn't work. And then you gotta peel it and all that, but garlic makes everything taste so much better and fresh garlic cooking on like olive oil smells incredible. All right, lots of olive oil is needed. Also, if Ryan's up for it, we can do dessert. I got these in the mail. They're called Dirty Cookie. Best served warm. These are both chocolate chip Nutella, and I believe in the middle, it's like full of stuff. I don't really know how they, maybe they emailed me. I can't remember, but I'm excited. Look who's here. He's wearing his Cuts t-shirt. I love it. Looks good. I hope you like it. I made it from scratch. For the most part. Mm -hmm. Put the cookies in the oven. We're watching Mr. Beast at American Dream because I was telling Ryan about American Dream. Hopefully these are nice and melty. Oof. Well, you guys, Ryan just left. We had a lovely 
couple of hours or so together we were I was helping him pick out his Halloween costumes and we were just planning them and I think we actually have three different nights of Halloween stuff which I'm really excited about because more excuses to like have costumes so I think last year we did fireball together but that was it um, this year we're gonna I think we're doing all co couples costumes crazy so I'm excited one of them we just figured out and I'm like obsessed with like his costume it's a vibe anyways um, that's gonna be the end of this fall vlog hope you guys enjoyed I feel like it kind of hit all kinds of little there's a little workout there's a little fall mall haul little cooking at home vibes so I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too thank you so much for watching this video go subscribe to Brooke if you haven't already um, we had a blast and subscribe to me if you're new here and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for my next video bye